my best advice for the parents would be probably not to lose the hope. I think we have to give ourselves credit that we usually try our best to support our children. We often struggle to admit that ourselves we need support with dealing with everything what comes on our way. Myself, I thought many times if I say that I'm struggling, what everyone else will think, how I'm able to support my child if myself I'm struggling. When you feel that you can't carry on and that you need the help, just ask for help. There is a services that are willing to help, that they, they won't criticize you because you said that you need the help. You often find yourself being judged, I would say. Not everyone understands your child as you do, so your ways of dealing with the situations are always questioned and often our opinion as a parent is actually disregarded and often professionals making decisions on behalf of our children who often have no voice or, or very little voice. The best thing that you can do, do not lose the hope. Let's just support each other, let's share the knowledge and be nice to each other because that's the, that's the key, key thing and uh, remind yourself every single morning that you did the best you could to support your child. One thing is that I have always thought, right, I've got a disability. I'm not going to let it rule me. Take control if you can and let it, let you control it. But that's how I get through life. Try and keep active and also connected with other people. And also live for today. Because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It is the positivity. Because I, I mean, I do like to share with people. Um, I think everybody who's Who's, who's new to sight loss. It is a difficult journey, very difficult journey. I mean, I'm still going through it because I've got a hereditary eye condition as degenerative and, and it's still going downhill all the time. But, so it's ongoing for me, but I just want to share my positivity really, to show, you know, it's not the end of the line. I think there's a John Lennon um, quote that there are no problems, only solutions. Um, I mean, I was always told, there's no such thing as can't. <laughs> and there isn't. I mean, you can do things. You can still lead a normal life. Um, and I, I, I mean, I think that's something I want to take forward, tell other people, teach other people. You know, you can do it. Sometimes you need extra help. You might have to ask someone to help you with certain things. But there is help out there. People will help you. I find the general public are amazing. I think if you go along with a really positive outlook, people are so helpful. You know, just, just, I walk down the street and it's, you know, I lose count of how many people have just, just helped. <laughs> I try to have a positive attitude. Um, some days it's hard, but I'd say just keep going, find someone to talk to, just try try your hardest to keep going. I know it's hard. I mean, there's days I don't even want to get out of bed. There's days I don't even want to be in pain anymore, but I I keep going. One of the main things that keeps me going is my grandson. I've got a picture of him in my bedroom also. The minute I wake up and I see him, that's one of the things. Pacing yourself. Um, if you push through with fibro, you're going to just crash. So learn to pace yourself. Um, my mind's gone blank, that's fibro. You can leave that bit in if you want, that's fibro fog for you. I can forget totally what I'm saying. I think one of the main barriers in the beginning and, and accepting is try to accept what you can do, look for things you can do, not go back to what you used to. I spent a long time thinking I used to be able to do this, I used to be able to do that, and I think, oh, I'll be better next week, oh, I'll be okay in six weeks. I go back to my old life. 
um, having a new life isn't necessarily bad, but it's accepting that you do things differently or find new interests. Um, but also, don't worry about what people say or think or people judging you. I used to spend too much time worrying about what people would think if I didn't work or what people would think if I couldn't go out, if I was lazy, and I, I, I don't concentrate on those things anymore. I think it's important to try and not worry about what other people say, what other people, if other people are judgmental, um, but just but keep talking about it. Keep emailing people, keep having a voice. If you feel that doctors aren't listening, make them listen. If you feel that people aren't listening about reasonable adjustments or in employment, just keep speaking up. I know it can be quite exhausting, but that's the only thing you can do. Otherwise you sort of just stay hidden. You don't have that voice and, and people aren't listening. You've just got to motivate yourself and do what you feel that is best for you, not worry about what other people think. One thing that really does help me is my faith. I've got a very strong faith in Christian and maybe in Catholic. But I feel to myself that that really helps me. But I think that anybody who has a belief, even if it's not Christianity, but Muslim or anything, that's what I find helps me. To think there's somebody there giving me support. But even if people don't have a faith, they can still feel that there's still somebody there to give them the, the help. And if they're in a situation, they might think, well, how am I going to be in this situation? And I find that if I've got any painful tests to have or painful treatment, I find I go deep into prayer. But of course, some people might go deep into meditation or deep into calmness. So that's what I find helped me. Never stop trying because when you stop trying, there's no other way you can just, there's no other opportunity for yourself to do that, anything else. But, and be positive all the time. When I get time, I read quotes to do a positive stuff, that's why.